Don't you dare throw those away. We're making the best banana bread. I can't stress it enough. Measure like this. Sweet. Best way to measure. One and a half cups all-purpose flour. One teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon kosher salt. Three quarter cup unsalted butter. Make sure the butter's softened, not melted. One cup packed light brown sugar. Cream, medium speed, two minutes. Two eggs. One teaspoon vanilla. Ripe bananas. The batter's gonna curdle. Don't do you worry. Funnel in the flour, low speed until combined. That way you don't make a mess. Spray nine by five loaf pan. 45 minutes to one hour. Oh yeah. Uh, perfect for when you're hungry in the middle of the night and you want something to eat. Bam, that you can keep in your cupboard and last forever. Ginger and garlic. Soup. Crack some eggs. Salt, pepper, cayenne to give it a little bit of spice. Just put that pan back in. And then the spring onion. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm, every night. It's a good night with this food. Super easy, home and pizza dough, so you never have to buy pizza again, and you can make it at home. One and a half cups of warm water into the stand mixer. One teaspoon sugar. Add in one packet of yeast and let that sit for about five to ten minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Add in three tablespoons of olive oil. Add in one tablespoon of salt into five cups of sugar and mix that together. And carefully pour that into the mixer. And mix that with the dough hook attachment until it comes together into a ball of dough. Pour out the dough and knead it until smooth. And place into a grease bowl to rise for one hour. Okay, that's two, but one. <laughs> and after an hour, it doubles in size. All you gotta do is cut into three balls, roll those out, make your pizza. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys TikTok where I make some delicious pizza with this. Click that plus button for more recipes and to see the pizza tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect chicken breast every time. This is not necessarily a recipe, rather it's just a technique to get better results. Bring the chicken breast to room temperature and pat it dry. You want it to be room temperature so when you put it in a really hot pan, it relaxes rather than tenses up. Now for research purposes, I'm just going to go with some salt and pepper. You can go with whatever seasonings you like. Now you want to heat up your skillet to medium high and don't add oil yet. You want to get the pan really hot before you add the oil, just so the oil doesn't burn. Now once the pan is hot enough, add in some oil and lay down the chicken away from you. You should hear a nice little sizzle. Now before you turn into Gordon Ramsay and flip it a hundred times, don't touch it. Let it develop a nice little crust. And if you want to be a snack and support me on Instagram, I'll love you forever. Now after several patient minutes, you can see how the chicken breast is almost halfway cooked. I'm going to give it a nice little turn. Look at that beautiful crust. Now when the internal temperature hits 165, let it rest for at least 5 minutes. Now carve it up and we have final product. Look how juicy that is. And now bismillah. Don't you dare, you're better than that. We're making it from scratch. This is how you measure, makes a difference. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons baking soda. Half a teaspoon kosher salt. Two tablespoons sugar. Whisk. Two eggs. Three quarter cup whole milk. One and a half teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Whisk. That's the texture you want. Let it rest 10 minutes to relax the gluten. Canola oil, don't use butter, it'll burn. Evenly coat your griddle, you can also use a nonstick skillet. Ladle your batter. Add your blueberries, who likes chocolate chips? Cook two minutes. 
flip, flip, flip. cakes are the best for an individual single serving dessert and this version is gluten-free and dairy-free. You can do this in the actual mug. I'm just showing you in a measuring cup so you can see it. Add a quarter cup of almond flour, two tablespoons cacao, two tablespoons maple syrup, one teaspoon coconut oil, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one egg. Give it all a stir. Pour it into a mug. Place it in the microwave for one minute. You can eat it like this, straight out of the oven, or add toppings. So to make perfect chocolate chip cookies. Place one stick of butter into a pot. Once it melts, continue cooking until it starts to brown. Once the butter is browned, turn off the flame and add in another stick of butter. Mix it together until it's fully melted. Place into a stand mixer with 3 fourths cup brown sugar, 3 fourths cup white sugar, and mix that together. Two large eggs, one teaspoon of extract. Two to fourth cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons kosher salt, half teaspoon baking soda. Mix until just combined. One cup semi-sweet chocolate chips. Cover and place in the fridge for an hour. After chills, roll them into two tablespoons worth balls and place them on a baking sheet. Season each with a little bit of flaky salt. Bake at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. All right, let's give it a try. Wow, that is super flavorful from the vanilla, from the brown butter. It is so delicious. Click the plus button for more recipes. Did somebody want mac and cheese? Oh, we're making pressure cooker mac and cheese. It's better, faster, and... Homemade. One tablespoon melted butter. Half a tablespoon olive oil. Half a cup panko. Quarter teaspoon garlic. A pinch of salt. Mix until moistened. 325 degrees. This is our topping. One egg. Half a cup, half and half. Whisk. One and a quarter cup cheddar cheese. Grate your own, it's better. One and a quarter cup Monterey Jack. Or pepper jack. Half a pound cup of toppings. Four cups cold water. Salt. Pressure high, three minutes. Put a towel on it. That way it doesn't make a mess. Drain. Return to the pot. Add the milk egg mixture. Three quarter teaspoon garlic. Half a teaspoon dry mustard. Jar two minutes on warm until the egg is thickened. Salt. Add the cheese. Four tablespoons cold butter. Has to be cold. It helps to emulsify the sauce. Oh yeah. Panko. Parsley. Cause you're fancy. Start with that chicken thigh. Pat it dry. Get them all in a bowl. Season them all with Tabasco, cayenne, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it up until it looks just like that. Two cups of flour, cayenne, paprika, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Mix it up. That's the flour mix. Two eggs, buttermilk. You're going to want to mix that up. Pour that over the chicken. Mix up the chicken. Get it in there and let it sit. Then coat the chicken very well in the flour. Spicy mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, paprika, cayenne, Tabasco. Simple. Mix oil in check that it's hot enough has to be hot enough you want to hear that noise chicken thigh five to six minutes each side golden brown then flip after that take it out just like that toasted brioche bun spicy mayonnaise both sides pickles that chicken top it yes if you're gonna make guacamole you need to do it get a mocha egg tank. Two tablespoons minced red onion. Cold water. Deflame the onion a couple minutes. Strain. Removes the harsh flavor. One garlic clove. Sliced. This is a mocajete. Two teaspoon olive oil. Red onion. The garlic. One fresh sliced jalapeno. Salt. It's a natural abrasive. Grind into a chunky paste. Like that. Roll the lime, it loosens the juice. Freshly squeezed lime juice. It mellows the garlic. Three ripe Haas avocado. Remove the pit. Scoop. Salt, quarter cup chopped cilantro. Stir. Do not make a box cake. We're making it from scratch because you can. Grease two eight inch baking pans. Evenly coat, parchment disc. I'll show you how to make them in my Instagram story. Two and a half cups all-purpose flour. I showed you how to measure. Don't disappoint me. One and a half teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon sini malt. Quarter teaspoon ground cloves. Quarter teaspoon grated nutmeg. Sift. One teaspoon kosher salt. One and a half cups sugar. One cup canola oil or vegetable oil. It makes it moist. Mix. Three eggs. Two cups peeled cheddar carrots. Half a cup minced fresh pineapple. Half a cup chopped pecans. Mix. 
Funnel the flour and spices until combined. Divide among pans. 375 degrees. Now we make the icing. One cup unsalted butter. Room temperature cream cheese. One teaspoon vanilla. Three cups confectionery sugar. 